great to uh, meet everyone uh, virtually uh, for the conference. Uh, I'm just going to share my screen here. So uh, thanks everyone uh, for attending uh, my presentation today. Uh, my name is Bernard Tan, and I'm the CEO and the CEO and co-founder of RE Royalties. Before I begin, I would like to point out that this presentation will contain some uh, forward-looking information. So please refer to our CEDAR filings uh, for uh, more information. Um, I'm here today to give you an overview of RE Royalties, the first company, uh, first royalty company focused entirely on the renewable and sustainable energy sector. Uh, royalty financing is not always well known, but it is very common in our daily lives. A lot of times we don't see it. Uh, for instance, when I bought my iPhone, Qualcomm received a royalty on the chips that Apple used. When I made an in-app purchase on my phone, Apple received a royalty on that purchase. When I opened Spotify to listen to the music on my phone, a music label or musician receives a royalty on it. Some of the largest mining companies in the world today, such as Franco Nevada or Wheaton Precious Metals with market capital capitalization in the tens of billions of dollars do not own or operate any mines. They are royalty companies. As you can see, royalties can be found in almost every industry such as mining, pharmaceuticals, IT, and even franchises, except for the renewable sector. Our vision and objective at RE Royalties is simple. One, to help build a cleaner and more sustainable future, and two, to generate a strong economic long-term return for our investors. How we set to accomplish this objective is by acquiring a portfolio of long-term stable and diversified royalty streams from operating and near-term renewable projects that will provide our investors with resilient, sustainable, and growing long-term cash flows. We operate and invest based on four fundamental pillars. One, a strong yield. Two, high growth. Three, capital protection. And four, a positive environmental impact. In 2016, our team recognized the opportunity to apply a well-proven royalty business model to renewables where royalty financing did not exist. We saw similar parallels to the exp exponential growth of royalty financing in the resource sectors in the mid 2000s, which established the billion dollar royalty giants of today like Franco Nevada or Wheaton Precious Metals. Our goal is to be the dominant royalty company in the renewable sector. We are also one of the very few TSX venture companies that currently pay a quarterly dividend. Our long-term royalty contracts underpin our ability to create reoccurring cash flow streams and provide our investors with very strong risk-adjusted returns. We are also a high growth company. Despite the challenges created by the pandemic, our revenues have grown 86% year over year and our operating cash flow has grown by over 200%. What this has shown is that demand for royalty solutions continue to grow and our strategy continues to pay off in generating and growing that stable cash flowing return. We also have a very large backlog of transactions that we are evaluating and can execute on. We currently have over 100 million in investable opportunities. So our ability to grow is one of our strongest assets. Our secured loan structures also provide protection and capital preservation for the investments we make, which is a fundamental principle that we follow. And finally, we have an experienced, innovative, and nimble team from the banking, renewable, and royalty sectors that can move quickly to capitalize on opportunities. Uh, some background on us. We took the company public through an RTO listing on the TSX Venture Exchange back in November of 2018. Our investor base are primarily Canadian retail and accredited investors, family offices, and foundations. To date, we have raised approximately 33 million in capital, including the 10 million green bonds that we closed at the end of February. So we are cashed up. We have also committed and invested 31 and a half million into a portfolio of 88 royalties to date. 
We currently own royalties from solar, wind, hydro, and battery projects located in Canada, the United States, Australia, and the European Union. Our investments also meet several of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. As, and as you can see, these projects generated a significant amount of clean energy per year and also help mitigate a large amount of greenhouse gases entering the atmosphere. In other words, we are an ESG investment and our portfolio makes a big impact. The global market for renewables is massive. At more than 200 billion invested per year, more money was invested in renewables than either mining, oil and gas, or even cannabis in 2019. This is mainly driven by the impacts of climate change and the urgency by countries globally to decarbonize their system. Renewables is not a passing fact and is a macroeconomic trend for years to come. Bloomberg estimates that clean energy will jump from 26% of world production today to 45% by 2030. The chart at the bottom of the slide shows the traditional global electricity production mix heavily weighted towards coal and natural gas. But this mix is changing dramatically towards wind, solar, and other renewables. A lot of this change and movement towards renewables can be attributed towards improvement in technologies which are driving down the cost of renewables. For instance, the cost of solar generation is on, is on a decline with installed costs dropping from 3 million per megawatt 10 years ago to less than 800,000 per megawatt today. This cost decline is very similar to the decline in the cost of computers and smartphones that we have seen in the past decades. According to Bloomberg's research, solar and wind are the cheapest source of new electricity in more than two thirds of the world today and will be the cheapest everywhere by 2030. This is a long-term trend and the renewables industry will continue to grow in the decades to come. So how do we take advantage of this? As most of you know, the royalty business model is very well utilized and very well proven in many industries, except renewables. Being a first mover in the sector allows us to access the best opportunities for royalty financing. We like proven technology, and we have a bias for operating projects or those that will reach operations in the very near term. In other words, we like near-term cash flow. We also like geographical diversification because electricity does not trade like a global commodity. Markets are very regional, so we want to diversify our risk across multiple jurisdictions. Our royalties currently come from BC, Ontario, Nova Scotia, Texas, Australia, and Eastern Europe. Our targeted returns are generally in the 10 to 20% IRR range, which allows us to support a strong yield to our shareholders while also driving growth. This is why we believe an investment in RE royalties meets the trifecta. One, growth, two, yield, and three, helping the planet. There are two main ways that we invest. One is we acquire long-term gross revenue royalties, typically 15 to 20 years. And two, we lend on a short-term basis, typically six months to three years, and also acquire a long-term royalty. This is really our favorite product and makes up about 80% of our portfolio because it allows us to recycle our capital. To illustrate using the step chart on the right, you can see that based on a three-year loan term, we can lend the same amount of capital seven times in 20 years and create seven royalty streams. This is the power of compounding. And to give you a real life example, back in June of 2020, we loaned a client 5 million for one year. We charged 10% interest or $500,000 and also receive a 2% royalty or 100,000 on their portfolio of projects for 20 years. So after one year, we get our original $5 million back, we get 500,000 in interest, 
and 100,000 royalty for 20 years for an internal rate of return of 17%. Once repaid by our client, we take that same 5 million and repeat over and over again to create more royalties. This slide here highlights the advantage of investing in a royalty company like RE Royalties versus investing directly in a renewable developer or operator. The key takeaways here are, one, royalties are based on gross revenues. This allows us to shelter our cash flows from unpredictable factors like rising taxes or increasing operating cost environments. Compared to a operator, developer, or supplier, we can maintain very low overheads. We also don't need significant construction or sustaining capital to get an asset operational in order to generate cash flow. And we can also achieve diversification much quicker. We spread our investments over multiple projects in multiple jurisdictions. This slide here highlights the investments that we have already made in solar, wind, and hydro. The one critical thing I would like to highlight is that a lot of the revenues uh, generated are paid by well-capitalized and large utilities like BC Hydro, Hydro One, and Nova Scotia Power. So in terms of credit quality, these, uh, these utilities are right at the top. Currently, we trade on the uh, TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol RE. We have approximately 33 million common shares outstanding with a market capitalization of approximately 40 million. Our share price currently trades in the $1.20 range, which is midway between our 52 week range of 85 cents to $1.80. Uh, as previously mentioned, we also currently pay an annualized dividend of 4 cents per share. Uh, management board and insiders currently own about 33% uh, of the outstanding shares. Our balance sheet is also quite healthy with over 13 million in cash and a very strong capital working capital position of 20 million. Our nine month results have also been very strong with revenues growing 86% over the previous year to 2.1 million and cash flow from operations of 1.35. What this has shown is that despite the disruptions in the global economy from the pandemic, our strategy continues to pay off in generating that stable cash flowing return. To paraphrase one of our shareholders, as long as the sun shines, the wind blows, or the water flows, we will continue to make money. You can get more of this details of our financials and MDNA on our website or also on CDAR. On this slide, you can see how we also trade on an asset multiple and revenue growth rate basis in comparison to our closest peer group, the clean tech sector and the mining royalty sector. I won't go into specifics, but you can see from this chart that despite one, having a higher revenue growth rate compared to some clean tech and mining uh, royalty companies, two, a dividend, and three, a positive cash flow from operations profile, our shares are still relatively undervalued, and hence we believe that there is a lot of room to grow from here as more investors learn about us. Uh, attaches a brief bio of our team. Uh, prior to starting RE Royalties, I was the chief financial officer of a resource focused private equity group where I was involved in uh, several royalty based financings. Uh, Peter Layton, my co-founder, is a uh, Canada Clean 50 winner in 2020 and was previously with a wind energy company and also chief operating officer for Accenture for Business Services. Luke Khan is our CFO and a CPA, and he was previously with Ernst & Young, one of the big four accounting firms. Uh, Bryce Anderson is our VP of Investments and also a CFA chartered holder. Uh, he holds the Responsible Investment certi Certification from RIA Canada. Uh, Talia is our VP of Communications and has a master's uh, from the University of London and is also a recipient of the BC Export for International Business. Uh, as you can see, this is our entire team. We have a very small team, which allows us to be nimble, but also allows us to keep costs low. In summary, RE Royalties is a unique high value and growth investment opportunity because we are deploying a very successful royalty financing model 
into a large and rapidly growing renewable industry. We create value for our investors by one, growing our portfolio through reinvestment of capital to create new royalties, two, providing long-term recurring cash flows from the royalties that we acquire, three, provide a strong risk adjusted return by investing in lower risk operational projects while securing higher development style returns. As a first mover, we have the luxury of selecting very attractive deals and the cash flows from these royalties are resilient, predictable, and sustainable. We focus on capital preservation by employing a combination of protection strategies such as senior secured loans and over collateralization. We diversify our portfolio to mitigate any single project or a single jurisdiction risk. And finally, we have the right team to make this all happen. In closing, I love the quote that this conference uh, used to summarize innovation. Uh, I think the quote said, innovation is seeing what everybody has seen and thinking what nobody has thought. This quote captures what RE Royalties is, a company that has taken a well-proven business model into a new growing industry. I thank you all for your time and I'll hand this back over to Gilbert. Thank you, Bernard. Let's uh, uh, have a few questions here. Let's uh, me conduct this uh, Q&A. The question coming from Kai S here asking, will you consider investing in other renewable uh, energy like uh, hydrogen fuel cell? Uh, yes, so we are agnostic. Uh, we look at a variety of technologies, uh, including hydrogen, uh, energy storage, energy efficiency. Uh, for us, uh, the critical component is the commercial viability. Uh, we don't invest in new emerging technologies that are unproven. Uh, we focus on things that can uh, have already been commercially proven and can show cash flow. We like cash flow. Great. And this next question coming from Ming is that is, do you do you see in your sector is becoming more and more um, competitive, like in terms of uh, a lot of other competitors fighting for different projects to provide the financing solutions like you do? Uh, we, in terms of the, the, the uh, royalty financing itself, we actually don't have a lot of competition. Uh, you know, we are, uh, in terms of other players out there, uh, recently in February, there's only um, uh, a new company that sort of emerged. So we see a lot of parallels similar to the mining sector where, you know, which is where I started my career in that over time, royalty financing will become a very dominant way of financing projects. Um, so we, we do see a, a very high upward growth curve. The other aspect as well is that um, with renewables, um, you know, it is a technology play. So technology will always improve uh, and grow. Uh, so the macroeconomic fundamentals create a very large opportunity uh, uh, investable subset for us. Okay. The final question here from Ken Fearn is uh, you're uh, obviously producing a positive cash flow or, or how, how, what's the growth of that? Is that in growing as well, the, the, uh, the cash flow? Yes. So in terms of cash flow, we are uh, producing uh, positive operating cash flow, uh, and we will continue to grow that um, over time as we reinvest that capital or raise new capital uh, into the company. So thank you, Bernard, for coming here to share your know, latest story. Uh, um, thank you for your insights in the new green energy. Thank you, Gilbert, and I thank everyone uh, for taking the time to listen to my presentation today. Mm -hmm.